Alright guys, it's time for a DJI Spark landing leg re... Nah, forget that stuff. Let's do something sweet. What's going on guys? Chad back with you and welcome to the RC Models and 3D Printing channel. And today I'm going to bring you something awesome to take a look at. We're going to be looking at Peter McKinnon's Lightroom LUT package. Now if you don't know who Peter McKinnon is, neither did I until about three or four months ago. The thing about drones and getting into photography and everything like that. If you really dedicate yourself to it, you start watching all these guys that are traveling the world and shooting this and shooting that and all these pros that are just producing this awesome content, it just makes you want to get out there and do more. And I've been out flying the Spark a lot because it's so small and I can get into these tight spaces and I don't mess with anybody. They don't even know I'm there. I get in, get the shots, come home and just do what I want to do now the link to Peter's YouTube channel and the video where he goes over these LUTs is going to be in the description below as well as the sound and the music that is in this video so real quick let's talk about what a LUT is a LUT is just basically a preset and some people love presets and some people are totally against them me I love them I mean they make me look like a pro well I know I mean they're not that good as my pictures but it's just awesome because they give you a great starting point to look at if you want to you can go in and examine each one of the LUTs and see what changes it's doing and go back in and make some of these little changes yourself and you can just learn how to get more out of these powerful applications that we have at our hands like Adobe Lightroom this is just going to be one video and a few I've got other LUT packages that we're going to be taking a look at for videos and LUT packages that are made for video in Premiere that you can actually apply to photos. So stick around to the channel, take a look at the stuff, give me a thumbs up, and let me know what you think about it. Let's go to the desktop now and let's take a look at this awesome LUT package. Alright guys, check this out. I've got some pictures uploaded into Lightroom and if you are not a Lightroom subscriber and a drone pilot, Man, what are you waiting for? 10 bucks a month, Adobe Creative Cloud. Go do it right now. I've downloaded, paid for, installed my LUTs from Peter McKinnon. As you can see over here in the presets area, they are a part of my preset LUT packs inside my develop tab. So I've got a picture pulled up here and we could just start taking a look at some of the LUTs here. Now each one of these LUTs is basically tuned to just give you the awesomeness that you want to receive in one click. You can also go back in when you're done and kind of fine tune these and such. I have already went in and made some initial cuts, crops, things like that just to make the whole video and the process shorter. So let's take a look at the first LUT. The first LUT is Ansel, which is that Ansel Adams type of thing. It's really grainy, black and white, really sweet looking LUT. Not the best for maybe this picture, but there's plenty of awesome landscape pictures that you can use out there. You have Avatar, which just kind of pops and brightens everything up, gives it a really warm type of a look. If we take a look over here at our HSL curves, we can go into the individual colors and we can see exactly what he has going on with all the different colors here in each of the LUTs. Also, if you go and look at the different effects, you can see different effects that he would put in as far as like the Ansel here. You can see that he's got the grain turned up down there, all kinds of cool stuff like that. Brighten Me Up is just a total overall kind of washed out type of image. Not too bad. 
Dolomite is one of my favorites. It really looks great when you're out in the sun. On his video, he was using it with some portrait photography outside. It was just totally awesome. Frontier is a really dark and gritty and grainy type of LUT. Now I've only found a couple pictures that this has looked good at. This obviously isn't one of them, but it does work in some situations. Heat stroke right here is definitely one of my favorites. Just kind of brightens everything up. Pops, the whites, shadows, highlights are turned down. Kodak Summer gives you that awesome feel from growing up as a kid. Just kind of that right out of the Polaroid camera type of look. Macchiato is a pretty cool one, a little bit more washed out type of a look. Maritimer, now this is your total blue look. If you take a look at the HSL tabs over here, you, you can see all of that going on with the blues. Mute Master just kind of tones everything down as you can see. Overexposed fix, haven't really used it a whole lot, but there's definitely places where you could. Pool party's really fun. I found a couple pictures that look good with it. Red Crush is probably my favorite LUT that there is. It doesn't look the best in this picture, but I will show you some other ones that it does. And then there is Rift Valley and Soho. If we take a look at the, here at a picture of our local, one of our local high school football stadiums. Again, Dolomite just totally kills it. Adds in a little bit of vignette out on the edges. You can always add more to that as well. Just kind of bring that in a little bit. Frontier, since this is a brighter image, it's going to actually look a little bit better. And again, you can always come back in, finish things up, add in a little bit more of a vignette if you want. Red Crush, this one just crushes everything. Looks awesome. Totally wild look. The oranges really pop. Gotta love that. Into some of my aerial street photography. Avatar, just gonna totally blow everything up and make it look sweet. Dolomite, again, just kills it for these outside concrete type of pictures I mean that just looks just so awesome right there with a little bit of that vignette heat stroke again another awesome one for this outside concrete type of a look really close to dolomite but it just kind of darkens everything up a little bit last one with the red crush and you can just see how everything kind of just changes there the whites in the building kind of pop a little bit more Part of the old Westinghouse factory here in Ohio. Dolomite again is just a great looking filter for these kind of videos. You can see how the extra clarity just kind of makes every little brick just pop like it's coming out of the screen. Again just add a little bit of vignette just to make that finish it off. Kodak Summer just a throwback to what this thing probably looked like. It gets a little too bright you can always turn down the exposure just a little bit add a little bit of vignette into that and just totally transform your picture and then finally I always like to hit everyone with the red crush just because it is just my favorite a little bit of vignette added to that again that's just an awesome looking pick just actually got this shot this morning. I was feeling a little sleepy when I took it. Check out this Ansel Adams. That looks really cool right there. Dolomite, again, is just going to knock this one out of the park. Look at that sky. Look at the clarity that you're getting. Obviously, it's got that punch to it that some people might not like, but it just makes it look awesome. Heat stroke, 
again never fails look at the color changes and how bright these oranges and blues pop red crush is just going to crush it again i mean look at that totally sweet put a little bit of vignette in there done that is an awesome awesome pick got this pick this morning as well this is the frontier you want to brighten it up a little bit just go ahead and increase that exposure you can see the grain that's in there looks really sweet we can also hit it with heat stroke to bring out those reds again and just make everything just kind of pop and just overall brighter lastly red crush just look at that that just looks awesome Soho really nice muted overall kind of that just brown mid-tone kind of look just can't be beat another awesome picture I got here locally try avatar on this one instantly brightens everything up adds a little bit of that green dolomite again is just gonna look good just overall if you want to brighten that up a little bit just go ahead and turn that exposure up a tad heat stroke again just an awesome looking look Here's that red crush again with a little bit of exposure added to it. And if we just like the regular picture and we just kind of want to brighten it up a little again, maybe it's a little overexposed. Got a nice preset for that right there called brighten it up as well. Take a look at one last photo here with these. I'm obsessed with these old water towers. They look great no matter what kind of filter or LUT you apply to them. The black and white just almost looks creepy. The avatar is just super bright and crazy looking. Dolomite comes in once again just for the wind, just like that. Frontier is going to give this a nice old grainy look that's just really killer. Kodak Summer, again, just kind of accent that rust color that's built into that tower now. Red Crush, again, it's just going to come in and just crush it like it always does. Add a little bit of vignette. And there you go. That's definitely good enough to put on the wall.